Happy New Year, family. <sighs> December 31st, 2022. I could speak for hours, but it's pointless considering the attention span of the herd is about uh, under a minute, according to all my videos. And most of my videos aren't much more than that. Anyways, I just got a text, a good friend, many, many miles away, just dropped off my new diesel can and diesel. It looks like a care package. And uh, I'm just uh, heading back up to my cabin. to uh, set up a package that came. It's called a, a diesel space heater. And it's uh, mainly because it gets to minus 30, minus 40 here. And uh, sometimes I don't always wake up to my two or three hour alarms I have set 24 seven to wake me up to stoke the fireplace, the uh, wood stove. So this uh, heater fed by diesel will last me the whole winter as I'll only use it. So when I wake up cold to instantly warm my cabin until the wood stove can kick in. Last week I woke up to a uh, glass of water on my bedside table that was completely frozen. Lord, Lord. Took a couple hours for my cabin to heat up. So this is the solution to that. So let's get back up to the cabin and I'll quickly open the box and wish you all a happy new year once again. I just had to lay that down on its side yeah you gonna make it up this hill you're gonna have to carry it by hand come back for the sled later to haul wood out of the woods so the year 2022 has been the year that proves the wrongfully labeled conspiracy theorists, everything we've exposed to be absolutely true. Crazy times we live in. When those who do the independent research are called crazy. The crazy ones are the gullible ones, the delusional who trust in man alone. So, temperature here is not good. So this is my uh, diesel space heater. So here I am 21 months later after being uh, poisoned while incarcerated on 100% false lies by someone who came to verify a gold coin I was selling who came back and robbed me and uh, went to the police after I threatened to go to the police after she stole money from me and uh, stole my hotel key. So this is the shit show I'm living. They're trying to silence truthers any way they can based on lies from some armed robbing junkie 
who only came to my hotel room when I was selling a gold coin. So they're trying to say, I tried to rob a junkie, a welfare recipient, and I went to jail with uh, thousands of dollars worth of precious metals and uh, about $800 of cash in my pocket. And these pricks stole my wolf dog puppy that had broke loose from a retired school teacher's house. They wouldn't return it to him or the uh, kennel, the uh, wolf dog kennel that sold me the puppy. They've stolen my crossbows, every legal piece of equipment, PPE, that I need to defend myself in nature. So it's the terrorist governments who are trying to silence anyone and everyone who doesn't believe their well-funded, lamestream media, propaganda, reporting, whores, lies, and deceptions. God bless you all. Public school is prison. Yes, of course, the buses may be different colors, and the fences that surround the facilities may be slightly different. However, a prison is a prison is a prison. And what we've been putting our kids through is literal hell. As someone who has gone through public schooling and someone who would never ever put their own kids through it, I'd like to talk to the public about what we're doing. You're putting your children into a 40 hour a week work. I mean, you're putting them into basically a job, 40 hours a week. You're forcing them to sit in an incredibly uncomfortable chair, being told that they live in a free country, while simultaneously told that if they wanna piss or shit, they're gonna have to get the permission, the written permission of somebody in order to do so. You're making them sit in an uncomfortable chair, forcing them to endure day after day, brainwashing that they live on a spinning ball when everything in their own reality and everything within their own senses is telling them something different. You are forcing them to eat genetically modified food, to be bullied, or to be a bully. You are forcing them to do schoolwork at home when they should be playing outside. You are forcing them to worry about what they are going to wear the next day when they should be playing outside. You are making them worry about what their peers think about their appearance, about what their peers think about their acne, about what their peers think about their grades, about what their teachers think about them when they should be playing outside. So I would like everybody to think about what they're putting their children through. Is it what you would want? Or is it just convenient for you?
Are we alone? Are we really alone? What does that word mean? I've thought about it many times. And I always keep thinking that it means all one, all in one. And that word has been taken and flipped. The meaning, leading us to believe that it means that we're abandoned, we're without any support of any other uh, human individual, any brothers, any sisters, any friends. No, that's not true. It's never true. Because we're connected. We are connected in spirit. In our soul, whatever you want to call it. Whatever that is, we are connected. Energetically, etherically, spiritually, we are connected to the ones that we're supposed to be connected to and that we choose and want to be connected to. In our energy, in our intentions, in our thoughts, in our feelings, we do affect each other. We can energize each other, encourage each other. And we have been doing that many, many, many times. People have connected. There's so much going on right now coming at us straight ahead. There is a wicked storm coming. That song didn't just come out of nowhere. No. It's showing and telling us a very important message right now. It fits right into what's happening. It has taken its place in the picture that we see ahead of us, right directly in front of us. A wicked storm is coming. And it has many tentacles to it, many fronts to it, many waves to it. But I see it all as positive. Can you see it? Can you see it? This all has to happen. Because everything has been destroyed. Everything good has been destroyed and Everything seems to be crumbling now. The whole big mess, the whole big wicked mess, all of it. Our soil, what can we grow now? Without a whole bunch of chemicals or a whole bunch of um, backflips to try to find the ways to build up this soil so-called soil, anywhere and everywhere. It's been raped and ruined. Our food supply, the birds and the bees, 
stolen, killed. All the wildlife. And then our people. Human relationships. Attacked so severely and destructive forces to drive us apart. But somehow I think it's not working as well because a lot of us are seeing through all the plots. And we're having compassion on one another and on ourselves. To be able to look around and see there are some things that we can do to help ourselves and to help our loved ones, each other. We are each other's loved ones. We are.